If you're just now joining me, you've probably guessed by the background music that we are going to be playing the wonderful Cyberpunk 2077 today. I have yet to really get into the game. Um, I'll be playing it on my handy dandy PS5. So, and I was actually going to take today off, but I can't stay away from you guys. So, I figured I would come on here and hang out and see what happens with V. I'm playing down the street kid um, path and so far uh, we've just woken up in V's bedroom and she says she's feeling not so super great so I'm eager to see what happens with her and where all of this goes. For those of you who haven't already done so please be sure to follow me on here on Instagram, Twitter and I uh, also have a Discord and YouTube. And I am on here pretty much five days a week, if not more, because I am somewhat addicted to the gaming. So, let's dive right in. We're going to click the continue button and roll hey, on. Everyone. Feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier mm -hmm. docked in Night City called Kujira or The Whale? Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters. Afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. <laughs> but honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Miltech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Maybe. Ooh, man, that status insensitive. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? President Myers, I mean, of course, <laughs> gotta respect the office. Anywho. We will also be getting incredibly caffeinated for our day. Hey there, how are you doing today? And what time is it where you are? I normally, when I stream at like 9 or so, I have an idea. So far, it is really pretty good. I didn't know, um, I didn't know if I would be really into it because I'm not super big on shooters. Actually, this is one of the first ones I've ever really gotten into, so, um, or anything that was even shooter-like. I'm normally not that guy, but this, this is good. This is cool. Sorry, I'm flipping around a bunch. I just want to get that damn hat off her head. The reason being, because when you wear it, or do, when you don't wear it, look how adorable I am. When I don't wear the hat, when I wear the hat, she ends up being bald <laughs> when she looks in the mirror. Which is kind of not great. So have you played Cyberpunk yet? Robotics circuits and short circuits. Okay, so I have reboot, reboot optics, resets the enemy's optical cyberware, making them blind. And I have a non-lethal short circuit, deals moderate damage to the target, very effective against drones, mechs, robots, and targets with a weak spot. This allows you to perform a quick hacks on target. So yeah, have you got? Uh, I know you're you're really into Valhalla, but have you got the um, got Cyberpunk yet? I'm still trying to get kind of a feel for the um, the layout, as it were. Because the game is much, much, much different than. Ah, see, I have on my channel that handy dandy button clicked where it is um, not safe for work, the NSFW button. So as long as I have that on there, I should be okay. Um, I, it also makes it so that people who are under 18 kind of know what we're looking at 
And the reason I did that is not because I play a lot of things with a bunch of nudity, but because I cuss a lot. <laughs> Especially depending on the game. And so I didn't want anybody to get banned or offended because I cuss. And I do it a lot. And I always have. And that's just a thing. <laughs> so we are going to take... Let's see. We're going to add some additional armor to her. I want to get better pants. I've already upgraded her shoes. Haven't I? I have not upgraded her shoes. Hi, Nikki. She's cute. I gave her the biggest boobies possible and the biggest everything possible. I mean, she's cute. Oh, come on, Nikki. Sorry, my, my uh, doggo, Nikoya, keeps coming up and kissing me underneath the desk. <laughs> So, y you think that, but customization in this is not nearly as much as they kind of led everyone to believe. Um, it's a lot more limited than I thought it would be. Everybody is going, um, I'm a street kid. Most everybody else that I know is doing corpo. And... So if you want to be completely different than everybody else, go Nomad. I have yet to try the crafting part. I think... Okay, so I don't have the components for that. So you're not letting me craft anything yet. I see. Okay. Upgrades. You let me upgrade anything yet? Nope, can't upgrade shit. How about cyberware? Oh, my Nikki. Right? I thought I could have, like, the biggest dick on the planet, you know, so big it was like a third leg. And it will not let me do that. It won't let me do a lot of the things that I had anticipated, and I think a lot of people had anticipated being able to do. Um... Right, yeah. I think people were really thinking a lot more along those lines and not what it is. Really just not something you get to do. Which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Looks like I don't have any messages. I don't have... To have okay, I have tech shards. I've read these things. I just haven't read this. The world. You're just going to be a girl so you can have the biggest boobies you think you can. I know your type. <laughs> just to, to let you know what that looks like. Poor thing. This is the biggest boobies it'll let you have. This. This is it. Everybody I talk to... It's like, I'm going corpo. Boo. Lame. Ah. I don't even know who that is. Judy, huh? Oh, my lord. Okay, so it looks like journal is where I'm keeping all of the... Oh, okay. I'm going to upgrade her body a little then, I guess. Stats, inventory, huh. Ah, okay, because I'm only an hour in. I mean, I'm really early into this, to be perfectly honest. I'm still trying to figure out how to level up. It's a very different game than Valhalla. Check your, check your weapon stash. 
track this job. Wait for the lockdown to end. That sounds too familiar. Retrieve the ping quick hack from the netrunner. Okay, so this is what I've already done. And I can skip time. Okay. Let's take a second look in the mirror since we looked in the mirror last night. Aren't I adorable? Okay, we can stop looking at ourselves. That is a smart idea. I wanted to be a street kid because I thought everybody else was going corpo and I wanted to be able to have as much access to hookers as possible. After all, what is this game mostly known for? Sex. Hey V. And violence. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Hmm. Later V. Because as a nomad, you start out in Badlands. And you get to do a lot of things um, with... Oh, what am I trying to say here? With the... Um, with cars. If you end up going to um, wrong in the, head the nomad. <laughs> the nomad ability. And Judy, I'm assuming, is a lesbian, right? Look at these guys walking up walls. Bad ass. <laughs> Let's run down the stairs. I had hoped to see if I could maybe be a hooker, and so far, that is not a thing. It's all very unfortunate. I'm gonna go around as clearly that's the way I'm supposed to go. Hey, bud. All good. See, I am still just trying to figure out what the controls are. <laughs> good day to you. That's so bad, but I'm only an hour into the game, so that's why I'm still trying to figure things out. A gym. You? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? Uh, I don't think I can do it right now. Where'd you get him? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Oh. Up, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. I figured. Got a and a tumor of mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. How's it going, pal? How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch? Keep notes? Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. The only way he communicates is with them fists. Which is nice. Not today. No, not today. Thanks anyway. Whatever. I'll be here. Well, I'm supposed to be over there with what's saying. You know what? Sure, Let's why not? Do this. Let's go. Let's do it. Light on your feet. Get that head moving. Fist fights. Your fists can be dangerous weapons in fist fights. You can use them to both strike your enemies and block their attacks. Okay. Oh man, I kicked that thing's ass. Go me. What have you got us for sale about these fights? Go in the ring yourself. You go in the ring yourself. Not anymore. Nikki, quit. Cole's taking too much of a beating. 
Reflex is ain't what they used to be. Mm. So he's a pixie man. Forensic cops should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. Well, about these fights. You mentioned something about fighting. Mm -hmm. I've I'm seen good at it. blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, a good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Lucrative for who? You or me. Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Hmm. So, you want to get rich off my hard work? Oh, I get it. Want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Just okay. my blood. You gotta make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. It's true. What's happening in different parts of the city? You He's being honest. Go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Oops, sorry everybody. Good. Oh, except you won't be seven foot outside or what? Not yet. Start the boot. I believe in you, B. Time to show this city what you're made of. I'm just not super into it, I don't think, pal. What do you got for sale? What do you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. So what are you planning on getting for implants? Uh, that seems to be a big part of the game as well. Um, the ability to modify your character via chips. And so I'd like to take a little extra time and really look those over. I don't know anything about them. White knuckled. Nikki, please. Increases weapons attack. How much money do I have? Hmm. Increases damage. Let's buy it. Nick, stop, honey. Get your ball if you're going to get your ball. So it looks like... Alrighty, Nikki. Now, I don't know how to put in those implants. That's the big thing. Do I just leave now? Ah, the face mask. Now I'm going to try and figure out how to put those into place. My cyberware. Looks like I can't use any of those things yet. Looks like I can't add any additional mods either. Yet. Notice how I say yet, because I think I will be able to as time goes on. All night, every night, Mr. Stead. <laughs> what dream? Be the dream, or the dreamer. Mix it up. 16 flavors you'd love to mix. The ads. Foreign body. What a great horror movie that would be. New job, get an upgrade. Sweet, clean speed. Times two. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, cyber psychosis, myth or reality? Hmm. Stay tuned. Well, I don't necessarily want to call the elevator, but I would like to get the math out of here. So, what now? I like that I can walk up and talk to anybody. I think that's kind of cool. But I can literally talk to anybody that pops up. Can't do nothing to me. Doesn't matter how glitchy this thing is. It is a little glitchy, but I can still pretty well talk to anybody. And 
CPD scanner hustles. So this map kind of reminds me of um, Batman. Fixers. Will inform you about local gigs available and gigs. Fixers will con connect you with. All right. Hey, cop. What is it? Time to blast a few more holes in you. Dude, chill. Any illegal activities? Hey, I didn't do shit. Oh, the fuck? Oh, shit! <laughs> I'd say that was a flat line. Let that be a lesson to you kids. You punch a cop and they will kill you. I feel like it's just like reality. I do not want to take that job right now. I actually want to go over here. Um, not my character, my journal. This is the job that I want to track. See? Hello? I was literally just trying to talk to them. I miss my sister. Woman of the oh. hour. Jeez. It took you long enough. The an appetite. Just wait. <laughs> Sit down. <gasps> Hurtful. You're a year off, kid. I am 34. I think that makes me an old gamer. But that's okay. It just means I'm experienced and been doing this a long time. And you're... What, 15? <gasps> oh, you little bastard! <laughs> Always stick to like, okay, future reference. Any chick you come up to, if you want, if she wants, if you want to know how old she is, you always start with 21 and work your way up. <laughs> it's always 21 or 18. Oh, my little monkeys. Nope, I am 34. So, how old are you? Okay, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senior Vector. That's cool. I would figure you as the type for Asian. Who thought you'd find it too exotic? What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. Get some more Chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Wells' signatures. Well, I think you said you, you're you not going to get banned by me. I'm not banning you. <laughs> so, you don't have to worry about me banning you. Ah, I figured... You were probably 13, 14, something like that. Nothing wrong with that. something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. Mm -hmm. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. You seem very mature for your age. I would not have guessed you were 13. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with a nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. 
Mm -hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Something. This is it, Jackie. Our break. Dex needs friends, needs us. We can use him. Amen, Chica. It's a win win. How'd you manage this? How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? That's what's important. As How did you I know, do we're this? We're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but t -Buck. She's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Which... Which is why I don't play those games, because what do they attract? A bunch of kids. And I am have to censor what I say, because I am very prone to saying all kinds of things. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Deals riding on you now, Chica. Why me? Why do I gotta go? You and T Bug draw straws without me? T Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Now Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? I'd say that's a good thing they're saying that you're. An old soul, we say in our country. Uh, you're, you're mature for your age. Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. I don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. Not really. No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Mm -hmm. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. It's always business, baby. Where you at, Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, Thank dust you. off with scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. So, looks like I can call my vehicles. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. I hope so. We'll see about that. So, we rolling or what? Let's Let's feel go. this factory new ride. Come on, Jack. Are you gonna let me drive for what? It is my car, after all. Ew, it's filthy. <gasps> That's cute. Ripper Duck. And Chica, easy on the gas, eh? Okay. Okay, let's see. Percentage. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. You first person in that, and I am gonna crash into all the shit. You know what? I'm driving this like Grand Theft Auto. I don't even care. Parking spot, sure. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Come on, V. I Find swear. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. I swear I drive better like than that in real life. Hey, wait! This is 
is what our hookers look like now? Those are odd. Odd hookers. Shaka harmonization. Far out, baby. Hey, V. Hey, Dr. Misty. Vector, we'll see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Yeah? Well, you, you look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. <laughs> but... We got a new job lined up. I'm a big hitter at the afterlife. Oh. Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, mi amor. We're bulletproof. Not quite, dearest. But it's very zen over here. And they say I've got my head in the clouds. Earth to be. Let's take those cards. I don't think there's anything else around in here. Oh. Uh oh. My bad. I don't want. Oh, okay. I just want. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just wanted to scan the door. Oopsie daisy. My bad. <laughs> it's Christmas music everywhere here. Nikki's. Ripper Dock. Bill will come. Practice cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be performed by qualified specialists. Ripper Docks. There are several Ripper docks operating throughout Night City, who, after a variety of different cyberware um, upgrades, select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Hi, as ever, you old Ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Been a while. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Spunky monkey. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. What? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Mm-hmm. Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. No, I do not want to buy my followers. And yes, it's Christmas music all over the place here. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? What's your favorite Christmas song? getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Get in the major leagues. New tech that can perform. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. Sure. I intend to talk to Victor, but first I'd like to sure, go to Victor's please. office. Sit down, relax. There is no mu you know. <sighs> There's no such thing as too many things to, to look at in these rooms. I look at this kind of thing and I think, my god, the amount of time and effort somebody put into this. Roshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Okay. Uh oh. Now Jack in. Uh oh. Kuroshi, whoa! Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, 
I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. All right, let's jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. We'll see what's going on inside. All right, cyberware. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of the body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Our specialists, known as Ripper Docs, are trusted to install cyberware safely. Let us see, what is the ocular option? What will this do? Okay, so this is what he installed. Hmm. I don't think I have anything for vendor items or anything like that there. And then he's saying that I can do something with my hand. Ballistics. Corpo processor increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. That's pretty cool. Directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system, offering real time data tracking. Looks like I have two frontal cortex options. Looks like I have several options here. Cool, but through the roof in prices. Everything is cost prohibitive. Arms, legs, the whole nine yards. It's all way out of reach financially. All right, and then for my frontal cortex, nothing. All right, well, we will get out of here then. Mark one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. But just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. Hmm, this should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's, Let's do, do it, this. Baby. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. It's new. So, what's new in the life of Victor? That's good, baby. <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. That's right. Lights out for a minute, all right? Test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. Yeah, let's see. Oh. You might feel a little discomfort at first. I'd Blur say. vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Mm-hmm. 
That's it. Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. <sighs> that is also true. Scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, and what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. Time for the scanner. Hmm. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's okay. really the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Cool. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. A database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner. Since all your wa are wanted, dead or alive, the methods you use to claim your reward are in fact entirely up to you. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Yeah. What about the Public virus? Public neurovirus. From the last job. Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Mm hmm Thank you. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What is this? What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. All right. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. No problem, baby. Guard up, you idiot. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull line. Absorb 75% of every blow. Miss it? Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh. How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Mm -hmm. Think you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk this up. I'm gonna go back out there now and I'm going to. <sighs> Misty's a weird one. 
Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I'm super not I good hope at that's that. all clear. Hmm. I'll do what I can. Incapacitating enemies, I've done that already with that one guy. I'm just not super great at it. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out some of the basic dynamics of this and, and really make it all work. Ugh. Oh well. So far. Ooh. Ooh. Piece of candy. There's shit everywhere up here. A ritual bowl. Final records. Let's see, more packs. I'm taking all that shit. It's not letting me craft yet, which is kind of a bummer, but we will get there. Take that, and that. And that. <laughs> I'm just taking everything. I'm just gonna grab all the shit and run. I am very glad I came up here now. Okay, let's go back down and around. Go talk to Dad Dex like he wanted me to. <sighs> so, how far are you in the game, Mr. Corpo? Less than intriguing. Let us run, 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 run. Hey, buddy. Want me to get in? I'm assuming. Yes, sir. I'll get in. Yeah. So, how far are you, my favorite corporal? Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's roll. You mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Sure. Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30s? Oh boy. Nobody's. You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Hang on, got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Right. Could I had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here? Could have just done this on comms. Yeah. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. It's not my real eye. I had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. 
And Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, I've got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. It's the job, Let me hear babe. it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm -hmm. Probably. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. And sees Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss B? How risk, how reward. Right. Virtual of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no lead here. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. Sure, baby. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving with that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Yeah. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Pretty much leave you. All right, what about the Maelstrom? What's the issue, issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot the shot. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Mm. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Ooh. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. That all sounds very interesting. Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Groovy. Corpo agent. Internal affairs. Been skitting around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Far out. Let's One more thing, Miss B. Mm hmm. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. There ain't no in between. Quiet life or a blaze of glory, indeed. Now, for everybody watching, I just kind of want you to be aware of something that's happening soon. <gasps> oh.
we're getting ready to run off and do a little something else for the day. Um, not that... Yep, I'm gonna get ready to run off. Ooh, street cred. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make your name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Jackster, talk to Dex. Cortito's a big deal. Literally a die, yeah. He was out to work. Claim to want to check our pro cred, but to me it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had to switch up the management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick, hostile takeover. Well, it sums it up. But Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Hmm. Parker. Think I ought to see her first. She's probably see what she's like, what she's after. Yeah. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Ground. I still don't wiggle. I still don't wiggle, baby. I'll take a second and save this. Should do another save here. Yep, definitely overriding the last one. And burr, burr, burr. switch into just chat and mode. So far, <laughs> I have played. Let's see how long have I been playing? Played about two hours now of this. Probably gonna spend my time finishing up Bahala before I keep playing this game. The reason for that is because I just I don't know. It's not that there's anything wrong with this, because there isn't. It's a great game. But I kind of like to finish one before I move on to another, with the exception of The Sims. The Sims gives you the opportunity to kind of do a little bit of whatever you want, which is really nice. So, and kind of come back at it whenever the story is whatever you want it to be. So, that is what I think I will end up doing, probably. Uh, sorry, I accidentally started Bug Snacks in the background, which is another game I'm going to be playing pretty soon. Um, but I'll have you guys watch me for that. Um, so I am actually going to get off of here for the day, monkey around with some videos, and uh, just kind of see what I can get done. For those of you who haven't already done so, be sure to click the follow button on here, on Instagram, Twitter, and of course YouTube. And I'm available on Discord, so you guys can come and kind of chat with me whenever... Uh, whenever you guys get a minute, I'm on there all the time. So I will talk to you guys later. Oh, and don't forget to review my schedule. I am on right now, kind of seven days a week-ish, trying to figure out what hours are the best for me, what hours are the best um, for my audience. So it's kind of feeling everything out. So again, thank you guys so much for watching me and have a wonderful